Hello, in this video I'd like to show you how to resize an image using paint.net. Resizing is a fairly straightforward and easy operation to do on an image. Let's start off by loading in an image and we'll go to Open Recent and I'll load in this image that I've been working on before. Now you can see down the bottom here that this image is 640 by 430 pixels and by going to the image menu at the top here you can pick resize and this is the little dialog that we can use to resize an image and please note that if I go to the top and load that again you can use Control R. It's quite a common uh, operation to resize an image so knowing that Control R will bring up the resize dialog is quite a useful, a useful key to know about. So let's go Control R and that brings up the resize screen and again you can see here that it's 640 by 430 pixels. Now there are several ways of changing the size of it uh, and the first one is you can change it by percentage. So if I click this little radio button here by percentage, I can simply change that to say 50%, click OK, and it will reduce the picture by 50%. Now you can see it's 320 times 250, which is exactly half of what it was before. So I'll go Control Z now and go back to the original size of the image. And the next thing we'll try is making it bigger. So this time I'll I'll change it by the absolute size and I'll change it to I think 1280. And you can see here that I've got maintain aspect ratio ticked. So what happened there if I go back to 640 uh, and you'll see that the height will change with it. So if we go back to 640 the, the, the proportions of the image are maintained by clicking this button here, maintain aspect ratio. Now also if I change the height to say uh, 860, the width will change too. So this has made the picture bigger. As you can see it's bigger. Fortunately the quality of the picture allows us to make it bigger and that picture will still look good at a larger size. Some images may not be of a very good quality and making them bigger may mean that um, the, the, they become pixelated and you can see the individual dots that make up the image. I'm going to go Control Z again and go back and we're going to have a look and see what happens if we don't maintain the aspect ratio. So if I untick that box and now I change it to 1280, which is twice the size, you can see that the height hasn't changed. So if I click OK, you can see that the picture is very distorted because I've made it 1280 wide, but it's still only the same height that it was before, 430 in height. So the picture is quite distorted. Now this might be a desirable effect in some, in some circumstances, but normally you'll probably want to keep the same aspect ratio. Now, one more thing that I would like to pick out is it's got a little in, in paint.net it's got this little drop down here where you can pick different ways of resampling it so the different ways it calculates how it displays the image and stores the image but paint.net will sort all this out for you so it's best to leave it on best quality you can also see the print size here the centimeter size of the image as well and it shows you down here in fact what uh, what quality will be used to to save this image with but really you don't need to worry about that paint.net really does it all for you so if I go back to main to aspect ratio I could even change that down to a very small picture like that and there you go so that was resizing an image with paint.net and I hope that was useful